What in the world are you doing? My envelope's sealed up. And I need to use it <laughs> because of the humidity or the moisture. I can't, it's sealed, I can't use it. So we're trying to break in. We're getting good at breaking into things, aren't we? We are. <laughs> Hashtag off-grid life. <laughs> I got it. Look at that. Woohoo! And it's so sticky. I can reuse it. Nice. See, we weren't sneaking into anybody's <laughs> private mail. <laughs> it's empty. It's empty. <laughs> So we wanted to work on the putting the OSB on the water container because it's actually not that bad of a day today. Um, and we ran out of screws and did not run to Home Depot last night after our showers and pick up more. So we've got about three hours before it gets dark. We're getting a later start today. We had to do all kinds of stuff this morning. Um, Kira is continuing to try to put together the cover for the firewood. Kim and I are trying to make a decision. Do we want to try to move the stack of firewood that's under this, you know, eight inches of snow? Or do we want to try to find these two by material that's underneath the snow <laughs> somewhere else on the property and put together the deck on the back of the porch? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's a lot less snow back here, but all of our two buys have gotten covered in the snow. It is starting to melt, but we're having freezing temperatures at night. So, last night was actually a warm night and didn't freeze. Um, so we've got an opportunity to get to some of these two buys. So what we're doing, let's look around here and let me show you. So what we're doing is adding a deck back here. So when you step out of the living room, you're actually on a deck that is basically covered, not really, because there's slits in the top of the wood up there. But it would be pretty simple. Possibly we could get that done this afternoon, at least the framing, um, of framing this in for that deck, putting the joists in and getting the precious joist hangers put on. <laughs> that should make some of you happy. Um, this is not an area that I can get back to, so the joist hangers will go on immediately, uh, where I can actually stand on a ladder very easily and add joist hangers to these up here, so that actually will be happening too. Um, and I know you guys comment because you're worried. We got it, we know that they need to go up there. Um, so we can easily throw these two by eights, we have some two by eights, we have some two by sixes, we have all of those things. This is about a 10 foot, this way uh east or west and i think it's eight and a half feet nine feet um north south um so i i'm pretty sure out of all of the lumber that we have just kind of hanging around that did not get used earlier we have enough to frame this in and then we can come back with one by material and and add that uh at least over this walkway for now um you know, if that's all the one by material that we can find. Okay, so I wanna talk about working with the rough cut lumber. Uh, I love my sawmill and I love being able to say, I need some lumber and going to the mill and cutting it. Um, some things that I did not know, um, and I'm gonna to touch base a little bit more. I'm actually gonna do a special video uh, just for what I would do different with the lumber, uh, cutting my own lumber. Uh, milling my own logs, or however you want to say it. Um, but for right now, I just want to address this. Uh, if you're going to, or you're thinking about getting a sawmill and milling your own lumber, um, the one thing that I've come across on a on a, a pretty constant basis now is one, it takes five times longer. Um, if you just purchase your lumber at Home Depot, you bring it home, you get to start working with it. 
you know, yes, you spend a little bit more money, but you're actually going to get to your build faster. Um, with the rough cut lumber, you've got to uh, first mill it, and then you've got to make sure if it's so, it, for instance, some of my one by material is not a constant one inch thickness, um, and it needs to be planed. Uh, or the eight by eights all need to be exact and that kind of thing. So your your rough lumber, you know, you may have some that are thicker and all that kind of stuff. So taking in accordance of that, we tried to work on getting this door frame put in the other day. Should have only been an hour project. Took all afternoon. We had to find um, the material. Couldn't find one that was the exact um, width. We had to rip some live edge material that we have down and then one of them had a bunch of waves in it because the, obviously the blade was getting dull sometimes that doesn't matter hit this time it particularly did so now we're going to have to sand down that waviness to be able to fit this up here so it just takes a whole lot longer uh, which has been super frustrating uh, we had really planned to be working inside when this weather showed up and if we had purchased all of our lumber from home depot or lowe's or you know one of the big box stores um, we would have been able to do that um, which is why we went ahead and purchased the lumber for um, the cabins the the living room and the tree house because we just had to get that framing done uh, so one of the big things that i will be doing different from here on out is uh, doing some SketchUp, which I'm learning how to do now. Some people have mentioned that and, you know, I, uh, the technology part is actually very, I don't know any of it. So I have to learn it first and then I can use it. So I am taking classes on how to use SketchUp and working on that so that I can create um, kits for something and then I can walk out to the sawmill. I can mill everything for that project, uh, get it laid out. Get it to where it's um, drying and it's good to go and then I can come in and fine tune it, get everything sanded down, plain, perfect lumber, and then we can start building with it. But until then, we have to work through having this rough cut lumber that's not all the same size and it's not all perfect. And that makes it quite a bit difficult. The other really big thing that I would focus on is your joist hangers and all of those things are made for inch and a half material, not two inch material. And I actually made most of these joists an actual two inch instead of a one and a half inch. And the joists don't fit on that. You have to, you know, hammer them in and make, you know, they're no longer perfect and pretty and all that kind of stuff. And some of this is just going to be exposed and I don't want to look at that. So um that's something else to really think about the one of the cool things about having your own sawmill is you can have true dimension lumber a true two by eight two inches by eight inches not an inch and a half by seven and a half um you know that's just something to think about if you're going to do this but like i said i'll be doing a full video on that probably later this week um if not in the next couple of weeks on the things that i would do different um, from the minute I stepped on this property until now, I think it would help with a lot of, um, things that people are thinking about. And, and, uh, if you, if you would like that, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make the video anyway, but if you have any questions that you would like to see in that video, go ahead and comment those below and I'll definitely try to touch on those, uh, particular topics. Thanks guys.
That was way better than I thought it was going to be. Everything else has been frozen together. Another reason why everything takes forever. We have to shift our piles. I'm sure there's a professional way, but yet again, we are not professional. <laughs> <laughs> I did hold the wrong end of that. <laughs> Oops, I didn't die. Yay, it fits. I don't have to change bits. That would have at least taken 35 minutes to find the right bit. Phone out right now and the ringer on, but I'm actually waiting for a call that I've already missed once today. So you guys are going to hear this thing make all kinds of noises that I myself have never heard because I always put it on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> This is literally the heaviest circular saw I've ever owned in my life. <laughs> Okay, so we 
also on this side have stuff that is shorter than the two by eight. So if we have those uh, two by sixes or something they can get here. So what we'll end up doing is a solid one that goes this way and then we'll come this way and then we'll do short ones here. So we'll box in the tree okay? and then the decking will go around that. We're going to do 12 inch on center. We'll need 11. The center, which I would rather do 12 if we have enough. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, nine, ten, because we'll need one on the outside here. So we need ten. We won't need one on the inside there. If we're doing 16 on center. Uh, if we're doing 12 on center. If we're doing 12 on center. 16 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's just, what, 2 shorter? So it's just going to depend upon how much material that we have. So let's go see what we got. from a teeter-totter? Seven nine, and then we can trim them up there. Uh, uh, line through a block of ice. <laughs> okay, like that. Just like that. Well, we're at least gonna get two out of this. We may get two out of that. Like it before, we may be able to do 12, foot, 12 inches on center. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today. We didn't accomplish much as far as finishing a project, but we did prep maybe for the next couple of days. Uh, we ran out of screws, so we couldn't work on the cover for the uh, water tank. We're gonna go to Home Depot now and pick up some more screws so we can work on that tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, the best thing that you can do to help support the channel is to watch the videos to the fullest and like and comment and if you really enjoyed it please consider subscribing we really appreciate it 
Good night. <laughs> can't read I can't redo things. I'm terrible at faking it. <laughs> Try picking that up. No, it's not Chris. Okay, so we're trying to decide what to actually do today. Oh, it's the rabbit. <laughs> like, what is that noise? <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Eleven inches. Poopy. Peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs>